Welcome to this week's episode of The Perceptive Readers, a podcast series made in the Product of Culture, aka Parkbooks website's office. Hi, I'm James. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the Harp of Pleasantries Creative Writing Section 1. The Harp of Pleasantries Section 1 Creative Writing is a product of potbooks.com and potbooks.crypto. It's in the manuscript phase. This is a short short story and may be all the way up until a novelette. But let's start with Section 1 first as we begin with the Harp of Pleasantries. It begins. The serenity of the sounds flowed into his ears just as many times before. This time his audience, in addition to one uninvited guest, came into his chamber. The clearing of the throat from Excellence Born again began. Lamont knew what was coming next. I will sing along. I will sing along for a treat. Pausing, did I ask for your input? His fingers gently continued the strokes on the strings. I will sing along. The air is sweet and the land is pure. La, la, la. Lamont, without missing a note, continued playing. How about I give you a treat to be quiet? That will work. That will work. The uninvited guest responded. Lamont reached into his right wool shirt pocket as he pulled out a red treat of licorice between his right index and middle fingers. His gas flew over and landed onto his right shoulder. Now what do you say, Larut? Root, stretching out his neck at an angle as if to see if there are any more treats in Lamont's pocket, Thank you. Lute quickly swooped in one flap of his wings, snatched the licorice out of Lamont's hand, and flew right back out of the chamber. There are several collected instruments all around this chamber which soothes the soul in the evenings and places pep in your step in the ballroom. This chamber room is the favorite of friends and visitors alike. Everyone should have a special place like this, Lamont tells the company. Then he says, be careful how you touch the instruments in here. Walking over to the edge of the piano, he places the lyre-sized harp in its strong glass protective enclosure built into the library wall. As he steps back, there is an Exhale as he just stares at the holding area for his most prized gift. One of the strings were missing from this specially designed four stringed harp. Who needs 10, 22, or even 47 strings? Lamont nodded his head up and down. When you have a magnificent instrument like this. Rock, Angel agreed. Angel, just how old it is, I don't know, but not just any string can be used to restore the unique sounds it creates in the zenith ability. Rock, Angel also let out a whine. It is a warm day outside. In this location of the world, it is the beautiful norm. Different types of birds come through all the time. Lamont finished his thoughts in a whisper tone. But who can say they have a root? Crackle, did I hear my name for another treat? For another treat? Came from the other room. This concludes section one of Harper Pleasantries in the creative writing category. Remember, with Parkbooks.crypto, the way it is set up you can actually, if you enjoyed uh, this reading, because it's also in the article form, or 
just this live reading here or even video form, you can, hey, uh, tip me a cup of coffee if you want through Ethereum or just regular, you know, Bitcoin or what have you. That's the way Parkbooks.Crypto is set up. And I would also like to share with you too that Parkbooks.Crypto uh, original intent as I used it or wanted it so much which can help you is because it actually shows or put a stamp that your creative writing or some other work is yours is from you you have that proof that trademark proof okay so thank you for being here and until I share the next section with you you have a very pleasant day You have just listened to the Perceptive Readers Podcast. Remember, until next time, if you read something that encourages you to improve or enhance your life for the better, it becomes your reality. <laughs>